But at the same time, uh, that was wild. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. So let's just go ahead and dive into it, shall we? <laughs> It's your girl E and I'm back with another review. So as you guys know, episode 11 just dropped for Baggies Caribbean and there's a whole lot of chaos in the air right now. Okay, <laughs> so the episode starts out with Dia and Slim basically having a conversation about what happened the night before. Basically, the girls voting them out the house. So Dia pretty much tells Slim like, hey, you know, I feel like Meatball was being a little fake, basically coming out and like, you know, being the first person to really say that like, yeah, we voted you out because I believe Tinka and Meatball are like close and they were all supposed to be like close in some type of way. So Dia was expressing her feelings on that. And so Slim pretty much said, well, yeah, like I kept asking who voted me out and no one was really saying nothing. Which if you watched my last review, I was pretty much saying the same thing. No one said anything for a while when Slim was asking who voted her out. So pretty much Dia and Slim leave the scene and pretty much leave the season. Before Slim leaves the season, she does say that Meatball did have her paranoid for no reason, basically putting things in her head to make her kind of fall back from getting too close from some of the cast members and kind of making her like not really show her full personality. So I guess Slim is pretty much insinuating that like Meatball played a part in why everyone didn't really fully get to know the real her because she had people like putting things in her head and she kind of held back her personality. Dia and Slim leave the season of Baddies Caribbean and the girls are now leaving Puerto Rico and going to the Dominican Republic which is Vicky's hometown. I believe Anna was from Puerto Rico. I think Anna and one other person. I'm not sure who the other person was, but I think there was someone else from Puerto Rico too. But basically the girls leave Puerto Rico and head to the Dominican Republic. So the scene changes and then Natalie pretty much tells us like Tseki, Asian Doll, and Gretch were not flying with the rest of the girls. Natalie and her selection of girls were on the jet, okay? The jet was definitely giving, it was giving vibes. The girls were lit, shoot, I, I ain't mad at them. <laughs> I am not mad at them because it looked like they had a freaking time, okay? Puerto Rico was hella fucking fun. I loved it, I love spending time with the girls. Mwah, marvelous, it's time to head to the DR, baby, the Dominican Republic. So the rest of the girls, it looks like they rode on the Zeus jet, which is just as cool. You know, you still find private, you know what I'm saying? Y'all seen me, I packed my big old flag. Tommy trato coño y pa' ya que voy. I cannot wait. Dominican. So yeah, the girls are flying on the jet and they're headed to the Dominican Republic. Natalie also lets us know that Mariah did not fly with the girls because Anna got into a fight with her mother. And I don't even think it was just her mom. I think it was her mom and her aunt. So yeah, crazy. I thought it was so funny because you could tell like the girls are really kind of separated, but not really. It's kind of funny. But like when they were talking about Biggie, like, oh yeah, we're going to Biggie's hometown. We're going to the DR. Yeah, she better show us around. Like Biggie wasn't even on the jet, but you could tell like they were just like, yeah, we going, you know, <laughs> like it was just some type of like sisterly, like, I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but it was kind of funny to see that. It was kind of cute too, like, oh, It's like a love-hate type of relationship between the girls. But yeah, you could tell they were all excited to be in Biggie's hometown. Okay, so when the girls finally land, Anna is basically being taken to the urgent care for her finger, I believe. She said she had a fracture from fighting Mariah Lynn's aunt and mom. Before I go, I just want to say, 
before I'm leaving, I run into Mariah's mom. Her mom was staring at me like with this evil ass look, like if I did something to her. And then Mariah's mom swing on me. And I just really started tearing her mom ass up. Like, this is why you don't bring your fucking family. Because if I was to bring my mother, she would really go crazy in here right now. Which is still crazy to me. Now, me personally, I'm gonna be real. I feel like there should be a standard that everyone has to follow because like let's not forget in the other episodes you know there was a few situations where other people had friends and family that were on the cast jumping into their fights i think et brought some people to the reunion and it's just like it's just never been allowed so i don't know like i get that like people were feeling bad for mariah because it's her mom but at the same time uh, your mom shouldn't really have been fighting anna but there's different sides of the story. So let's just go ahead and dive into it, shall we? <laughs> so basically, Anna was saying that she was attacked by Mariah Lynn's aunt and mom, and she pretty much didn't hit them back immediately, but after being attacked multiple times, she finally defended herself. I think at one point she even said Mariah's mom took her phone and ran with it. I don't even know where it came from. Her mom just ran up on me. Callie's in the middle, blue face sister trying to break him up and her aunt comes from the side, scratches my face, scratch my arm. My phone falls out of my hand. Her mom takes my phone and runs. So I was like, give me my phone. And when she swung at me and didn't want to give me the phone back, bitch, I just started whooping her mom ass. Her mom on her knees. I'm just, bop, 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 monkey. That was wild. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that from someone's mom. Like, I hope that's not true because that's crazy. It's just all like really immature and childish to me, honestly. Like there should be no situation where Anna should be having a fight. Mariah's mom and I kind of like believed Anna but then when I heard the other side it kind of made me contemplate because you know later in the episode Callie did say like she kept trying to stop Anna from fighting Mariah's mom but then Anna was like basically like determined to like like whoop some ass or something like that. Niggas is going crazy because I was there when a bitch put their hands on a mama. Anna wouldn't listen to me when I was telling her not to put her hands on Mariah's mom, but she wanted to smoke. We're, we're whooping everybody. So I don't know, it's just really messy, but let's not jump too far into the episode. So back to what I was saying, they're taking Anna to the urgent care. She's on the phone with Tiseki and Natalie, and she's telling them what's going on. Like, you know, hey, this happened. They ran up on me. Um, I had no choice but to fight back. I was at the airport. Um, I think she even said Callie tried to separate, but you know, by the time Callie tried to separate, you know, she was being scratched in the face by the auntie and whatnot. So at the end of that conversation, Anna actually was like, yeah, I spoke to, you know, Tiseki and Natalie, and they were both on my side. I don't know what where she could think that this is deep okay. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to all sit down and talk. So Natalie and Tiziki agree with me that Mariah's mom is completely out of line. And at this point, like I'm ready to bring my mother, my aunt. So it's just like what do you They both agreed with me that Mariah's mom did too much. But then when we fast forward to like the next scene, you have Tiseki, I believe it was Tiseki Biggie. Um, Roly and, um, and Scotty and I believe they were talking about the whole situation Tiseki actually brought it up and was like yeah Anna got in a fight with Marlon's mom and like but anyway before I get to the good part let me not skip ahead so after Callie basically says like Anna wanted it with anyone at that moment of her being attacked and she basically said like hey I told Anna to stop she didn't listen to me the scene pretty much changed and the girls pretty much got to the mansion now I must say that mansion was definitely hot like it was so much cuter than the mansion that they had in Puerto Rico and yeah like they definitely upgraded in the Dominican Republic 
the house had like a um, infinity pool and it was just so cute and like it seemed like almost everyone had their own room. So anyways, the girls are getting settled in to their rooms, into the mansion while some of the other girls gathered together for a little talk, you know. <laughs> So yeah, the girls pretty much all get together and I believe it was Tinka, Biggie, Meatball, and and yeah, so they were just, you know, talking about like the evictions and how they felt about it. And like pretty much like Tinka was saying, like, I wish I would have known about the evictions, like you know, she kind of put her little two cents in like next time you guys try to send home some of my friends it's gonna be a fight you know what I'm saying I think genuinely she just was not included in the conversation because they knew that Slim and Dia were like her girls on the show Tink was saying like I don't like how the OGs kind of like you know kicked you know my friends out but she said it in like a jokingly way but then Biggie trying to be a bully trying to be a bully i've been telling you guys biggie been trying to be a bully she tries to be a bully when she gets the opportunity i've been saying it i've been saying it because like biggie was like oh well it's none of your guys's business um who we decide to keep in our house or something like that i'm like biggie biggie stop it stop it that's what really makes me not like this whole og status thing this is why i feel like Let's keep rotating the girls, you know? Let's keep the rotation going because I really hate this like bullying thing that's going on. Like just because you've been on more seasons, now you feel like you have uh, some type of like status above the next person. No, you guys are here for the same purpose. I mean, I yeah, I guess there is some like, you know, benefits with being on the season longer or being on the show longer but still there shouldn't be no like bullying or og status thing going on i just don't like that like you know at the end of the day you came back for another season so you in the paint just like the rest of us you feel me so that's how it should have been it shouldn't have been no like oh i'm og status and you're a newbie and you stay out of what the og say like nah bro, we're not doing that we're not doing that like it's either you want to be a bully or you don't want to be a bully there's no in between and i feel like biggie kind of rides the fence a little bit with being a bully and not being a bully sometimes but i could be wrong <laughs> i could be wrong don't come for me <laughs> i know the girls like to tussle so don't come for me that's just my opinion i believe after that they later show like another scene of anna talking to her mom and like basically telling her mom like what happened and like the look on her mom's face is so priceless like her mom's like <gasps> like her mom's so surprised like what like her mom put her hands on you and then Anna's like don't worry mom I whipped her ass <laughs> Like, I really feel bad for Anna because one thing about this show, one thing about baddies, like, nobody gets spared. Like, they do not care if you're injured. They do not care what is going on in your life, child. If you're on that show and they know that you have, like, some type of weakness, that's even going to make you a bigger target. So I really, really felt bad for Anna. And I think I was even watching, like, one of her, like, lives the other day and she was, like, basically explaining and, like, saying, like, she feels like, you know, Mariah Lynn took advantage of the situation, basically. I think she was insinuating like Ryan Lynn was trying to get a moment off of her. So I guess they're saying like Ryan Lynn's moment chasing, I don't know. But it was kind of sad to watch, honestly. I did feel bad for Anna. And then in the confessional, she did say like she knows Mariah Lynn is gonna try to come fight her about her mother's respect and that, you know, it's up, which you can't really I don't know it's hard like I understand that like Mariah got to fight for her mom just for the principle and the respect part of it and then I understand Anna on the other hand because it's like well your mom attacked me so we do what I'm gonna do just let a random lady hit me so I get both sides but at the end of the day I feel more empathetic towards Anna for the simple fact that like someone's mom attacked you just like they put you in a type of situation where it's like you have no choice but to defend yourself you know natalie always be cracking me up talking about she wants peace in the house like girl now natalie none let's not act like we didn't forget you starting stuff on baddie south and baddies east and all that good stuff but i think it's so cute how natalie be like let's have peace in the house for once <laughs> like natalie girl who are you trying to fool girl who are you trying to fool girl come on now let's be serious
But anyway, so it's like the next scene, and it's like Jayla, Sapphire, um, Scotty, of course, and Natalie. By the way, I kind of noticed how like Roly wasn't in a lot of scenes, and I feel like Sapphire low key's like slowly taking Roly's spot. But anyway, um, yeah, so they're in their little scene or whatever. And Scotty's basically saying like, you know, why is Gretchen here? Like no one even likes her. She's not in any of the scenes. Like she should have went home before Slim and Dia, which is exactly what I was saying in the last episode review. Go check it out. And she was like, yeah, like why is, you know, Gretchen even here? And um, basically Natalie was like, well, why didn't you guys vote her out? And I was thinking the same thing. Like why did nobody vote Gretchen out? How did how did Gretchen manage to stay another freaking elimination round? Like how? So um, basically, Scotty was like calling it out, and Jayla was like, "Yeah, I've been saying I wanted Gretchen gone," which I can believe Jayla probably did say that because you know she is very upset about that mark, and I feel you, girl. I would be mad too. Like, don't leave no bruises over here because it's gonna be a forever thing. <laughs> we gonna be forever. <laughs> But yeah, I started to notice like they were pumping Scotty up. Like, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna evict her. Yeah, you're gonna kick her out. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna tell her she gotta go. And I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, these girls are up to no good. They about to start a fight between Scotty and Gretchen. Oh my God, poor Scotty, poor Scotty. Gretchen, you need to go, then you need to say that. Cause what's somebody gonna do to you? Not, Not shit. All right then. Not a motherfucking thing. All right. <laughs> like Either way it goes, we're here for it. Period. Let's go, baddies. Who gonna check Scotty? No one. So back to the scene that I was telling you guys a little bit about before. I believe this was probably like one of the last scenes before the episode ended. That's when like Taseki, Biggie, Roly, and Scotty ended up coming together. And basically Taseki was telling them, like the girls, about the fight between Anna and Mariah Lynn's mom. And it was just so crazy because like, I'm like, aren't they like, weren't they just all beefing? Like, you know, Taseki and Biggie and Anna versus like Roly and you know, Scotty and Natalie or whatever. But anyway, so they're all talking in the scene and then Mariah Lynn just happens to pull up. By the way, whoever is doing the story producing, y'all are doing your thing, okay? So she just happens to pull up while they're talking. And so she's like, where's Anna? Where's Anna? She hit my mom and da 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 And she's like basically telling them like, you know, Callie called her and like told her like, you know, yeah, Anna attacked your mom, da 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 When Mariah Lynn was telling the girls that like Anna attacked her mom, Scotty was like, well, didn't your mom like hit her first or something? Or didn't your mom aggravate her first? And then Mariah Lynn was like, yeah, well, she hit her after that. And, and I'm like, Callie said that Anna came in from the pool and she walked by to get an omelet. My mother said something. She went back outside, I guess put her omelet down, came back in, went up to the table and was like, just to let y'all know, I don't fight I old bitches. Wait, the reason that. why she did that is because your mom said, said something, something to her. Like, who hit who first? That's what we want to know. Like, we get that Anna hit your mom, but if your mom attacked her first, then it's not really her fault. So I actually respect this Scotty for that because I know Scotty and Anna had their differences in the past. So I think that was you know, good of her to kind of speak up for Anna when she wasn't there. So as Marilyn is talking, Tiseki basically tells Marilyn, like, I know how you feel. And like, it doesn't matter if my mom is hitting you. If you hit my mom at the end of the day, you know, I have to fight you. She was basically telling Marilyn that. And then even in her confessional, she was like, I don't care about a broken finger, broken face. I don't care you touch my mom, it's up. You touch my mother, it's up. And it's stuck, it's so. Up. Let that be my mother. Bitch, I'm not even having this conversation. I don't give a fuck about your finger. I don't give a fuck about your face. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Because obviously you ain't give a fuck about that when you was squaring up with my mom. And so for me, that caused a little bit of confusion. I remember Anna saying in her last scene, like, you know, like I told Natalie and Taseki what happened and they got my back and I'm good. I'm, yeah. I'm a grown woman though. You, you, you have to defend yourself. Yes, you have to defend yourself. Bro, and I already just know. So Natalie and Taseki agree with me that Mariah's mom is completely out of line. 
And then now, like, to say I can tell them around Lynn, well, like, if that was my mom, no, because that's my mom. It doesn't matter if my mom hits you or whatever, you don't hit my mom. So it was a little confusing for me. I know it was probably confusing for some of the other viewers. Like, okay, what's going on? But honestly, I think Taseki is like um, more of a mediator type of person. I think she kind of looks at both sides of situations when things happen. So she probably did understand on the side of it, like, you know, somebody attacks you, you gotta defend yourself. But then again, it's like, well, you know, that's my mom. I gotta defend my mom. So I'm kind of interested to see whose side Taseki will take more on the next episode. Is she gonna be more on Mariah and Lynn's side? Or is she gonna be more on Anna's side? We don't know. We'll find out in the next episode. Now, one thing I like about Roly, Roly's gonna expose some ish, okay? She gonna keep it A100. So like while Mariah's over there, like, you know, spilling the beans on Anna and stuff, Roly was like, well, I got word that you were talking ish about all of the girls on the cast and that you feel above everybody. And da, 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 da. Cause you know one thing about Roly, she's gonna have the receipts and the tea, okay? So Mariah Lynn, you could tell she caught Mariah Lynn in like her guilt because Mariah Lynn was like choking up on what to even say to like the allegations, like you know basically saying her and Deseki should be above the other girls in the house and have better treatment and whatnot. So I was like, hmm. Side eye, Mariah. Side eye. So the last scene on this episode, I believe, was when Callie and Gretch were like having their little talk or whatever. I don't know if her name is Gretch or Gretchen, but you know, you know who I'm talking about. So they were having their little talk or whatever, and like you could tell clearly that Gretchen was under the influence of something. I want to say it's alcohol. I have no idea, but you could tell she was like drunk or intoxicated of some sort and basically like you know she was like oh everybody told me not to trust you you're not to be trusted and blah 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 and like none of anything she's saying is making sense but all I know is that she keeps saying the n-word and Callie is getting more frustrated with her and basically trying to tell her like you need to calm down you need to relax you need to stop saying that word at the end of the day if someone respectfully asks you not to refer to them as some type of word you should respect that it's just common decency it's just common human decency like if someone asks you to acknowledge them as a man even if they were born as a female you have to acknowledge their you know their pronouns so it makes no difference for like the n-word if, if people don't want to be addressed in a certain way just respect it it's just so simple but for some reason Gretchen feels entitled and she just feels like she can say the word as she continues to say it the entire time. So the more we're watching, we can see that Callie is getting more frustrated and irritated with Gretchen. She did not take advantage of the situation. She didn't take off on Gretchen. You know, it was you know you could tell Gretchen was aggravating her by a lot of the things that she was saying. She kind of like was checking her and trying to like have a reasonable conversation with her, but you can't really have a reasonable conversation with someone that's drunk. So yeah. It pretty much went how it went because of you know Gretchen being drunk. I even give kudos to Callie because she had a way long conversation than I would have. So you can pretty much tell that Gretchen was like disordered, like she wasn't there. You could tell she was under the influence of something. She was even attacking production. Shut the fuck yeah. up, ho. Hi. Turn that shit the fuck. Turn that shit the fuck up. And just like throwing things down. Um, and yeah, it pretty much seemed like Callie and Gretchen were at odds, but you could kind of see that like Callie was like, it was kind of funny because she was like, what's up, what's up, view something, but then she kind of like would jump back, like, you know, she didn't really want to fight Gretchen, but Gretchen was definitely trying her, you know, she had to pretty much chin check her and let her know like, yeah, this is what it is. So they showed some of the teasers for the next episode, and let me tell you, I'm excited. I think next episode is going to be very, 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 very lit. Like it's gonna be super, 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 super lit. So we're gonna be looking forward to Scotty versus Gretchen. I was honestly surprised when Scotty ran up on Gretchen like that. Like, girl, you went from being quiet to being like, pack your things and go. So that's gonna be interesting. And we're also going to be seeing Callie versus Jayla, which is crazy like I like the both of them so this is gonna be kind of like a hard episode for me to watch 
and I even want to say Tinka and Meatball might have gotten into it because I know like towards the end of the teaser um Meatball was like oh she didn't say it in that type of way she said it to be like funny or something I don't know so basically something happened between Meatball and Tinka and then of course we know the Mariah Lynn versus Anna fight might be in the next episode too so we got about like four situations going on so the next episode is gonna be a mess it's gonna be a mess that's what it's gonna be i don't know what to expect to be honest also they did say that bianca is like taking a break from the show right now and we should also be expecting them to bring in the reserves they're gonna be bringing in the reserves child so, so he's gonna be turned up on the next episode needless to say you already know what to expect from baddies caribbean but it's a lot going on child i can barely keep up with the names of everybody it's a lot of people <laughs> it's a lot of roll call <laughs> it's a lot of people it's a lot of girls you know but i think i'm doing okay i think i'm doing all right y'all <laughs> Scotty Richards Grinch. That's gonna be a good laugh. And I'm not gonna lie, just from the teaser, it looks like Scotty. Scotty, if you lost to Gretchen, I'm gonna laugh. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just gonna laugh. Cause how? Girl. <laughs> Girl. The story producing is producing. Pretty much. You can, you can tell that. So yeah, that's interesting. That's super interesting. Okay, you guys, that is going to conclude our episode 11 review. And like, we have so much to look forward to in the next episode, you guys. We have about four fights coming up, which I really don't like to see the girls fight that much, honestly. I really like to see them kind of do other things, be creative, turn up, show the lifestyle more than the fighting. But, you know, that's just one thing that's going to come with it. It's just a lot going on. So, um, make sure y'all tune in next Sunday, same time, same place, and come right over here so we can talk about it. And, yeah. Let me know what you think about this episode, though. Like, was you feeling it? This episode, to me, was one of the more interesting ones. So, I am looking forward to the next episode. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Because maybe I'm tripping. Like, maybe I'm missing details. Or maybe I'm on point. Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to your girl. And I will see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>